Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, today I have an authentic oxtail recipe for you. When I say you've never had oxtails like these, you've never had oxtails like these. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Check it out. So I went ahead and cleaned my oxtails real good. I got any of the excess fat off of them that may have been on there, any bone fragments that may have been on there from the butcher cutting it. And when I say you've never had oxtails like these, I mean it. We're gonna go ahead and marinate it in some A1 steak sauce. I have one half of a green bell pepper, one half of a red bell pepper, and one half of a yellow onion. And we're just gonna get that tossed around, mixed in real good. And once we have our oxtails well coated, we're gonna go ahead and put a top on the bowl. We're gonna put it into the fridge and let it marinate for about an hour. And while that's marinating, we're gonna go ahead and chop up four serrano peppers. We're gonna add that later. So now our oxtails have been taken out of the fridge. I let them get to room temperature. Now it's time to start cooking. So to my pot, I went ahead and added some grapeseed oil, two tablespoons of butter, and one and a half tablespoons of minced garlic. So we're gonna go ahead and let that saute until the uh, butter melts and the garlic starts to get fragrant. Um, then we're gonna add our oxtails. Now, we're not trying to sear the oxtails, we're just trying to start the cooking process. And now we don't want our oxtail sticking to the bottom of the pot. So we're gonna stir them around, let them cook some more, then stir them again, just to kind of keep them moving. And after a while, you're gonna notice that they're gonna start releasing their uh, natural juices. Um, that's the telltale sign that the cooking process has started. And now that the cooking process has started, we're gonna go ahead and add our seasonings. We're gonna add some onion powder. We're gonna add some paprika. We're gonna add our serrano peppers. We're gonna add some parsley flakes. Two sprigs of rosemary. And we're gonna add our beef stock. And we're gonna give that a mix for now because we're gonna add a little more seasonings. And we're gonna put a little lightsaber salt and pepper in it. Then go ahead and give that a mix. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some Worcester sauce. What do you say? Yeah, I say Worcester sauce. I call it what I want. And also garlic powder. And 
And we also chopped up some green onions, but we're not gonna add that now. We're gonna save that to the end. So we're gonna give that a mix, bring it back up to temperature. Once it comes to a boil, we're gonna put the top on it and turn the heat down to a medium low heat. And we're gonna let this cook for about three hours. So occasionally you wanna come back to your pot just to kind of keep everything honest and we're gonna give it a stir. And we're gonna do that throughout the whole process. Now about halfway through, we're gonna add one more layer of flavor. We're gonna add one tablespoon of Creole mustard. When I say you've never had oxtails like these, I mean it. We're also gonna add our chopped green onions, but for some strange reason, my camera cut off on me. And we're gonna give that a mix. We're gonna put the top back on it, and then we're gonna occasionally stir it until your oxtails are nice and tender. Now, the oxtails have been cooking for three hours. You can see the sauce has reduced. The oxtails are nice and tender. They're coming off the bone. They're done. It's ready to serve. Now you can serve these with almost anything. I'm gonna be having greens and rice and macaroni and cheese. Y'all go ahead, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel. You know, tell me what you're thinking. If you're going to try this recipe, uh, just leave a comment in the comment section. Look, now it's time to taste these things. I'll see y'all next time.